Woke multinational corporations don't exist. Stop pretending whether they advertise on GB News or not matters. It doesn't. And if you have praised the boycott of the channel, well, you are a corporate shill. A number of companies, some of them well-known brands, have decided to stop advertising on GB News. Let me explain. Advertising is a lucrative business for everyone involved. Those trying to sell more product can see a big boost to sales with a successful ad campaign. And obviously, the big brain bastards somewhere in London or New York, tasked with manipulating your behavior, charge a pretty penny to fire up their morally bankrupt ideas bank. Home of ideas like, more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Cigarettes are good for you. Children need toys. And eat this burger and you will look like a supermodel. Back when you could tune into Channel 4 on a Wednesday night and watch a man staple his ball sack to a table, ah! ads told you a chocolate bar wasn't for women. It's not for girls. Or that chavs at Cheltenham deserved to be tranquilized. For jazzlers, no! Now, in the age of conscious consumers, which in itself is a pretty disgusting tautology, no amount of CGI meerkats, drumming gorillas, or shocking content can get the attention of potential customers. Or can it? Look across to America, the shining city on a hill, the land of opportunity, and a total lack of advertising regulation. The locus from which so much of our culture and politics emanates, as anyone with a key stage one understanding of the culture wars can attest. Well, you know how Lawrence Fox and anyone else desperate for attention, say that taking the knee is the first step on a slippery slope towards the England football team seizing the means of production. Well, actually, wouldn't that be more entertaining than the 90 minutes last week loosely defined as a match against Scotland? That started with this guy, Colin Kaepernick. Let's, let's, kind, of, let's kind of call it what it is. Uh, Colin is a, is, a, is a Marxist, as a Marxist, as a Marxist. He didn't start it. That was actually Martin Luther King. But let's not get distracted. Kaepernick's actions enraged a good part of the USA, a nation in which even the UK's most avowed flag shaggers would be viewed as part-time patriots. So, when Nike deployed Kaepernick as the face of a new social justice ad campaign, the reaction was all too predictable. Dare I say it, even intended. Trump stands decided they'd own the Nike cucks and soy boys by literally setting their own possessions on fire. Sorry, Nike. I've been buying you for the past 20 plus years. Not anymore. So proud were they of their bold protest, and it's damning enough that they live in a society in which burning luxury personal possessions is viewed as some kind of noble act. They posted the videos on social media. Liberals applauded Nike, renowned advocates for providing children with work experience. Conservatives screamed. All of it was free advertising. To bring things back to GB News, something similar happened to its alleged counterpart in the US, Fox News. After Sean Hannity said some frankly distasteful things, even according to his low standards, coffee machine manufacturer Keurig decided to draw a line in the sand. This was too much, a bridge too far, the outrage that broke the camel's back and they decided to take a mighty stand by briefly suspending advertising on the program. Cue coffee smashers. This is what I think of you, Keurig. And then, everyone that destroyed their coffee machine realizes they now need a new coffee machine, and that the old one they had was pretty good, and no one will know if I just buy another one. And if you actually need a coffee machine, well, how about one of those ones that look perfectly functioning until one of their owners took to them with sledgehammers and lighter fluid? Now, brands don't try to shock and provoke you with sexism or classism. They do it by loosely advocating mainstream progressive ideas that will enrage culture war simpletons. Or indeed the reverse. <laughs> Here's an idea. Let's place a small amount of ads on GB News, then pull them when Twitter comes knocking at our door. We can quietly resume them once the Ferraris died down because the channel has a legion of followers that we want to buy our stuff. The lesson here is global corporations are not your friend. They want you to buy their stuff. Don't think the GB News boycott is about anything more than that. What shirt are you wearing? Ralph Lauren.